Greetings everybody, welcome to No BS Baking, got JP here. Today we're going to talk about enzymes, part three of my What is in My Bread um, series of videos. So without further ado, let's get at it. So what are enzymes? Enzymes are proteins that help speed up metabolism or, or chemical reactions. They build some substances up and they break others down, such as fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. All living things have enzymes, but enzymes are also added into food products like bread to perform a specific function during production. Some of the more prevalent enzymes used in baking are amylase, lipase, protease, and in the case of yeast, uh, when yeast is added to your dough, maltase. So why are they used? really simply just to speed up the production process or add some additional benefits like extending shelf life and better eating quality. So amylases basically break down starch into complex sugars such as maltose. It's at this point that the maltase enzyme takes over and ultimately converts that maltose into a simple sugar Yeast loves simple sugars and thrives the best and is the most productive uh, when these sugars are available. Now, amylases are commonly added to dough conditioners that you buy on your shelf. However, there's many plant foods that are rich in amylase, a number of which I've listed here. Now just remember, amylase gives you a better eating quality and a softer moisture product. And that's the reason why items such as these are used today in baking, just as they have been for many, many years. Now, protease enzymes have a softening effect on the dough. Many of the off-the-shelf dough conditioners will have additional amounts of this enzyme added to it for this effect. Now, as soon as water is added to the mix, the enzyme begins breaking down the flour protein. This softens or weakens the protein matrix, ultimately speeding up the development process by more rapidly improving the dough's extensibility, which ultimately gives you better gas retention capabilities. Now keep in mind that protease enzymes can be found in a whole range of different types of food products. And as I mentioned, it's naturally occurring in flour. However, keep in mind this is whole grain flour, not white flour. As the bran is removed through uh, the milling process, all of the natural protease enzymes are reduced almost to zero. And that is the reason why bakers and bakeries often supplement with conditioners that contain protease enzymes. After other enzymes have done their trip, this is where our friend maltase comes in basically takes the byproduct of the other enzy enzymatic activity, maltose, and converts it down to simple sugars, which yeast um, thrives on and uses very quickly and very rapidly. So the maltase enzyme is naturally occurring in yeast. So as soon as it comes in contact with maltose, it immediately splits that up and creates simple sugars like glucose, which is what it grooves on. Now, lipase is a really interesting little enzyme and one that's been get garnering a lot of attention in the media right now is the one that um, fights major diseases. Generally, lipase is used right now to keep bread soft as an anti-staling um, uh, enzyme due in part to its amazing emulsification properties. Like most of the other enzymes we've covered, lipase is available in a broad cross-section of animals, plants, bacteria, and molds. So it's everywhere to also. Here I've listed just a few of the uh, um, food items where, that have a high amount of uh, lipase in them for your consideration and um, general knowledge. And rounding out the top most important digestive enzymes for proper overall health, I've listed sucrose and lactase.
So if all these enzymes are already in the grains, flour, and yeast, why would I consider adding them, and why do bakers do it? Well, they do it for a specific reason. Number one, a lot of the enzyme, or in many instances, the enzyme is located in the bran portion of the grain. So when you're milling white flour, you're taking all of this out, and so as bran is removed, so are some of the important enzymes. And so, like everything you buy in your grocery store, all things are not equal. And therefore, you could have variable amounts of enzymes within that particular type of product. Number three, it speeds up the process. And lastly, improved performance. Bigger volume, softer, more extensible doughs that hold gas better, some strength. All of these things, enzymes play an active role to give you better finish quality at the end of the day. And in summary, if you take a look at a dough conditioner that you might be interested in using, or that bakery product that you've just picked up at the grocery store and you start seeing any of these things on the ingredient declaration, which also in many places could just be listed as enzymes, at least now you have an idea of what the function is of these and um, how they are really um, leading baking tech uh, these days. And um, you're going to see a lot more about this stuff in the future. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked what you saw, please give me a like and a subscribe. It really helps me out as I'm getting this channel going here. And be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have sitting right over here. Uh, we'll see you next time. No BS breaking.